Tis the season for Christmas holiday hair and I have to feature my girls for this kid hairstyle because kids hairstyle during the holiday season is just a must. They're super cute and super adorable. So here we have Boo right here representing for type two, type three curly hair. She kind of has that nice soft body wave similar to Lonnie but her ends curl like that nice s curl kind of like Kalia's so like I mentioned before our product feature for this video will be the Define curl cream by flawless by Gabrielle Union I was kind of um I know a little curious to kind of see what exactly her products were going to hold and I will say that this Define curl cream was definitely a must-have it is very thick and luxurious and it adds a nice sheen to her hair now the good thing about this is that it is good for all curl types including two three and four and since I have all three of those curl types in my household I figured this would be a must product for all of my girls so this was my first time trying it out on my boo who is only three years old and she has these thin curly hair and I was really surprised of how great this product worked I'm kind of hesitant on adding a bunch of heavy creams onto boo's hair only because her hair is just so thin and fine I don't want products to weigh her hair down because she does have gorgeous, gorgeous curls and sometimes heavy creams and heavy products can just weigh her curls down and make her hair look super greasy. So I really did like the, this product for Boo. Now going into styling her hair, I'm making three parts. We are going to be doing a half up, half down kind of style, but on the half down part, we're going to divide that section into half as well. And I'll be using a braiding gel to get those crisp, clean, parts and as you know if you are not new to my channel I kind of struggle in the making straight parts department <laughs> like it's just it is definitely a struggle and then having a toddler who likes to move around and has a hard time staying still I definitely have a hard time with that but I have recently discovered braiding gel and I will say it is a lifesaver when it comes to making these parts no my parts are still not straight but we will be getting better at it it's okay so going in with that first section, I go in with the Curl Cream by Flawless. Like I said, very, very nice. As you can see, it's already adding that immediate shine to her curls. Her curls were really, really frizzy and it helped control all of the frizz that was going on. It's, on the bottle, it says it's infused with shea butter, rice oil complex, and a he healthy shine lilac. And it hydrates and defines curls. And I will say I'm definitely definitely will be trying this product some more. I can't wait to try it out with my other girls. So of course I have to give y'all a story while y'all are watching me do the lovely booze hair. So if you have not been following us on Instagram, if you're new to my little trio of girls, Boo is the youngest out of the Pom Pom sisters and she is definitely the most savage. Like she just gives zero when it comes to any and everything. She has no problem giving you her opinion and let you know if she don't like you or not. So recently Boo discovered that my first name is not Mommy. My first name is of course Shantae. My, my real name is Shantae. So one morning, um, me and Christian are getting, you know, her ready for daycare and we make her some breakfast. And Christian doesn't call me by my name, of course. He calls me Babe or whatever cute nickname he has going for that day. And he's just like, hey, babe, you know, pass me this right here, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I go and grab it for him and Boo's sitting there and she's just like, no, her name's not Babe. Her name is Shantae. And so she just goes on and on trying to correct my husband. Like, no, you don't call her that. You call her Shantae. 
So I was just like, well, no. So I started kidding with her. I'm just like, no, boo, my name is Mommy. You have to call me Mommy. And she was just like, no, no, your name is Shantae. I'm supposed to call you Shantae. That's your name. And I was just like, yeah, that is Mommy's name, but you're supposed to call me Mommy. But she just had a hard time grasping that. And she's three. I don't know why it's taking her this long to realize that my name is Shantae and not Mommy. But she was just tickled to death to finally learn that, oh, okay, I'm supposed to, or everybody else calls you Shantae, so I'm going to call you Shantae too. And I'm just like, no, that's not Mommy name mommy's name is mommy you're supposed to call me mommy she's like no 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 you're Shantae and I just love like when they have those realizations where they feel like yeah I figured something out on you and now I'm smarter than everybody in this room like y'all are all idiots and like toddlers do that with any and everything that they figure out that's new or some kind of new knowledge that they have found for the day they just have to rub it in everybody's face like yeah I know this so like if we go anywhere, if we're at the grocery store, somebody approaches me and they start talking to me, she has to let them know, like, hey, yeah, this is my mommy and her name is Shantae. Like, she does a whole introduction for me now. Anywhere we go, if I pick her up from daycare and me and the teacher can be talking and she's like, yeah, my mommy's name is Shantae. You need to call her Shantae. It's just that, I mean, she just spent like a week just doing this over and over everywhere we get go. You know, she was just like, yeah, my mommy's Shantae. You need to call her Shantae. I'm gonna need you to call her Shantae. Yes, my mommy's name is Shantae. And she was just so proud of herself. And everybody's just like, like, little girl, if you don't sit out somewhere, we are very well aware of who your mom is and what her name is. But she just like any kind of new information she gets, she just has to run and tell everybody. She goes and runs and tell her sisters. Of course they already know my real name, but they also understand that they can't call me by that. But Boo was just just I mean matter of fact in every any and everybody's face and I just love that about toddlers like any new information they just gotta rub it and tell the entire freaking world about this new information that they found out and just knowing that she's going to be growing out of the stage very soon it's just so heartbroken and since me and Christian have decided that we're gonna stop at three I guess I just better enjoy all of the savagery that comes along with Boo being the youngest baby. Now for this holiday Christmas style, this toddler hairstyle that I am doing on Boo, I wanted to kind of have this like Christmas theme about it so I tried to like make her hair into like a Christmas tree like that you see the top ponytail it's like the top of the Christmas tree then you have the bottom where it fans out into this nice triangle that was what I was going for um, I don't know if it really worked but <laughs> that's what I was going for I really kind of decided to add the beads on at last minute I was gonna do something else and I saw the beads sitting over in a box and Boo loves her beads and I thought it was like a nice little touch added touch a nice little added accessory for her hair and then I like that the beads aren't just gonna be just clapping all over her head because you know when they start running around the beads are just slapping all over the place so I like that these are kind of just like set there. Now for the ends of her ponytails, I was debating whether braiding it up, putting it in a bun. I decided to let her curls just like flow because I love Boo's curls. I absolutely love her. I love all my girls' curls. So I obsess over letting Boo's hair be as free as possible. I try not to do a whole lot of ponytails and weighing her hair down. So this is like a once every two months kind of style where I'm doing something this extensive. I usually just have Boo's hair just out and free. Because her hair is so thin, I don't want to put any more tension than necessary because I'm just in fear of breaking it off and making her hair thinner than what it needs to be. So I try my best in not doing tight ponytails, not doing a whole bunch of styling. Like I don't do a whole bunch of manipulation to her hair at all. And then that's just pretty much my routine when it comes to Boo. She probably gets her hair washed every two weeks and we brush it out once a week where she's just free falling, like hair is just everywhere. So this is the completed look of our gorgeous Boo with an added bow, because she loves her bow. And that is it, she is now holiday Christmas break ready. Hopefully this style lasts till Christmas. Most of Boo's styles never last more than two days just because her hair is just so fine. Those rubber bands slip right freaking out. So that is it gang, thank you for joining us on another tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you are not already, hit that subscribe.